<laughs> What's up guys? Welcome back to your Oracle tutorial series. This video and the upcoming videos we are going to be discussing data types in much more depth. So we're going to start with char and nchar. Specifically this video will cover char. So char is short for character. This can hold a string of characters. And the thing about this is that it's a fixed length data type. That means every single string is going to be the same size. And if for any reason we don't give enough data to fill that whole length, it will pad it with extra spaces. So for example, if we have something like this, char 10 char, but we only pass in hello, well, hello is only five characters. That means it's going to add five spaces for us. Now this keyword here, char, this is known as a qualifier. You can think of a qualifier as something that describes something. So kind of like an attribute describes an entity, this qualifier describes what this 10 means. Specifically, this is known as a length semantics qualifier. Lots of big words here, especially that one. <laughs> That's funny. So what does semantics mean? Semantics describe the meaning of something. So if you wanted to put this in English, you could say that this char describes the meaning of the length. So the describes would be the qualifier, the meaning would be the semantics, and the length would obviously be the length. <laughs> but if that doesn't make any sense or you just think it's a bunch of useless information, all you got to think of is that this char describes how we interpret that 10. In this situation we are saying 10 characters. Now if we don't put this char here, the default is actually byte. If you want you can throw in that byte keyword that way you can be very specific, or a better word would be explicit. So if you explicitly do something, you are putting it there even if it's not necessarily needed. You're giving extra information. You're being very specific in what you want. But if for some reason you don't put either one, just like this, you no longer have 10 characters, but you have 10 bytes. And remember, one character can take up multiple bytes depending on the encoding. Now if the default is byte, why do we even need that bytes keyword? Can we just leave it out? Well, some people like to be very specific so people know. And additionally, there is actually a default setting. So you could change the default to char. And then in this situation, this would be 10 char. And then if you wanted to change it back, you would throw in that byte word. And then you're no longer following the default and instead you have 10 bytes. <laughs> you can see how it can be pretty complex. Generally, what I would recommend is just go the extra effort and throw in that keyword regardless, even if it already is the default. For example, let's say the default is byte, but you want it to be in bytes, throw in the keyword byte, that way there's no confusion. In addition to always throwing the byte, there's another way you could do it, and what that would be is to just change the default and then never use one of these qualifiers. So if you never put something here in any of your create statements, then you know all of your database objects have used the default. The benefit of this though is for consistency. If you have some columns using byte length semantics and then others using character length semantics, it's going to be very confusing. Regardless of which one you decide to use, you want to be sure to be consistent. If you want to change the default, go ahead and look up nls underscore length underscore semantics. And then you can learn how to change that and also the downsides of changing that. Now, last question. What values are actually allowed in these parentheses? That's what we are going to be discussing in the next video, so be sure to subscribe, click like, and as always, I'll see you in the next one.